the initial speed of the projectile fired from the ground is u at the highest point during its motion the speed of the projectile is root 3 by 2 u the time of flight of the projectile best example for projectile motion is ball hit by batsman when you are hitting the cricket ball the cricket ball travels along parabolic path theta you are calling as angular projection the ball is moving into air with some initial velocity u this initial velocity i am separating into two perpendicular components one is u cos theta another one u sin theta throughout the journey of the projectile horizontal velocity component remains constant at the starting point horizontal velocity u cos theta at the highest point also horizontal component is u cos theta only when the projectile is moving into air in upward direction vertical component of velocity changes but horizontal component of velocity remains constant they have given one condition the speed of the projectile at the highest point the highest point means maximum height given given speed of the projectile speed of projectile speed of projectile at highest point or maximum height highest point is root 3 by 2 u but at the highest point velocity of the projectile is u cos theta speed of the projectile at the highest point at the highest point speed of the projectile u cos theta speed of the projectile at the highest point u cos theta that is equal to root 3 by 2 u u u gets cancelled cos theta is equal to root 3 by 2 is nothing but cos 30 degrees cos 30 degrees cos theta is equal to cos 30 theta is equals to 30 degrees they are asking time of flight this total time that is in the air this total time you are calling as time of flight time of flight t is equals to 2 u sin theta by g t is equals to 2 u sin theta theta is 30 degrees 30 degrees by g T is equal to two into u into sine thirty one by two di one by two sine thirty one by two by g two two gets cancelled. Time of flight is equals to u by g. 